Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Will and happy Valentine's Day. Today's an interesting holiday because some people are going to be so filled with love and get to celebrate the people around them that they love and appreciate. Some people are going out on dates, getting flowers and chocolate. And some people are crying over the fact that they're miserable and alone, trying to drown out their feelings with chocolate. Some people also just don't give a fuck. Regardless of where you fall on that spectrum today, is still Valentine's Day. And I thought it'd be fun to go onto Reddit and read some of the Valentine's Day theme submissions of Reddit's Am I the Asshole? Because as we all very well know, assholes are everywhere. Let's get started. This first one says, Am I the asshole for visiting my late husband's grave on Valentine's Day? Hi, first time poster here. I, 37 female, lost my husband in 2014. It was very unexpected. We were together since high school and had a daughter, 15 female. It took a long time to accept his death and move on, but I did, and I've been in a new relationship for three years now. My boyfriend is amazing and I love him. He gets along with my daughter super well, which is obviously important to me. The drama is, we recently have been arguing about the fact that I have a few photos of my late husband around the house. He said it makes him uncomfortable to constantly see the man I was married to. I have a table in the living room where I have a small memorial type thing. It has a bunch of photo frames of my late husband, as well as candles. I came home from work two weeks ago and saw that my boyfriend took all the photos off the table and stashed them in a drawer. It caused a massive argument. He told me he did it because it made him feel like a guest in his own home. I told him it's fucked up to be insecure over a man who isn't even alive, but he believes his feelings are completely valid. My late husband's birthday is the 14th of February, and every year I go visit his grave with my daughter. But this year my boyfriend got irritated about it. He told me he wanted to spend the entire day with me, but... And but instead I went to look at a gravestone. Apparently I ruined Valentine's Day. I was furious. I asked him why he suddenly has an issue with my late husband and he says because he was planning on proposing to me, but he can't anymore because he believes I'm still caught up in my husband. I ended up <laughs> calling him a cunt and he angrily left the house and hasn't been back since. Am I the asshole? Absolutely, absolutely not the asshole. I can't believe that people like this actually exist. That's insane. Um, obviously, I don't think you're the asshole for taking a portion out of your day to visit your husband on his birthday. And obviously it's a tradition you've had for a while, so it wouldn't make sense to break it now. And saying that um, you can't be bothered to propose anymore because you're still hung up on your husband who's deceased is absolutely insane. If anything, you should take that as the hugest red flag ever and end that relationship because obviously it's not going well for you. Sweetheart, what's she gonna do? With all due respect, he is in the ground. Like, what's she gonna do with him besides talk? You have nothing to worry about and it makes sense to still love people who have passed on. But this guy obviously has some jealousy issues that he needs to attend to for himself. Um, so my advice is end the relationship. Please do not marry that man. Um, and if you do, you're a fool, not the asshole. This next one says, am I the asshole for not punishing my seven-year-old daughter for her play relationships? My husband and I have a seven-year-old daughter together, Layla. A few months ago, Layla got a boyfriend, Lucas. They're both seven, so it's obviously not a real relationship. They just hold hands sometimes and they drew each other hearts for Valentine's Day. This week, Layla was apparently holding hands with another boy who also sent Layla a Valentine's Day love letter and Lucas took offense to it. We found out because Lucas's parents called to tell us. Lucas won't be coming over to play this Saturday like originally planned because he's mad at Layla. My husband wants us to punish Layla and wants me to have a talk with her about faithfulness. At first I thought he was joking, but no. He was serious. He says that Layla cheated on Lucas and I, as her mother, should do something about it. I told my husband that Layla is seven, not a cheater, and I won't treat her as such. Then he accused me of raising a cheater and encouraging the bad behavior. Am I the asshole for not wanting to punish Layla? Of course you are. It's never too soon to start teaching about the values of fidelity in a relationship. I'm kidding, obviously. Um, I don't know why people are so obsessed with children and their relationships. When a child that age has a relationship, obviously it's not that real and not that serious and shouldn't be treated as such. 
it's insane to call a seven year old a cheater. However, I do think it would be a good opportunity to not punish, but have a respectful conversation about why it upset the other child and how to move past it in the future. But not in a punishment type way. Obviously a seven year old is not a cheater. It is an emotional time being a child and just being in general. And I think that it's valid for the other child to be upset, you know? His friend got a Valentine's Day, got a Valentine from somebody else. But also it's important to realize it's not that deep. They're literal children. Just a few years ago, they were probably picking their nose in the sandbox. It's funny, of course the husband is like, what a cheater, like you need to teach better than this. That's just what kids do, man. They pick a person and then a few seconds later, they're done with that person. Like, it's a second grade relationship. It's not that serious. Am I the asshole for not giving a gift to my wife for her birthday and Valentine's Day? My wife and I are hard up for money. She's the only one working while I'm going to school full time. I try to drive for Uber Lyft on Friday nights, but that's permitting the toddler isn't going batshit crazy. She also has to be up at 5 a.m. on the weekends to work 12 hour shifts. Before Valentine's Day, she asked if we were going to do the Valentine's thing this year. After we both discussed it, we agreed that we'll not exchange any gifts. She said that she'd feel terrible if I surprised her with a gift, which I've done in the past, and she didn't give me anything in return. She said she was serious. Valentine's Day rolled around and she surprised the kids and I with some heart-shaped chocolate stuff. Great. I can't tell if they mean like, great, or like, great. So, um, there's that. Then I got grief about how I could have at least gone to, dollar store and go to the dollar store and gotten anything at all just to show that I was thinking about her. <laughs> Fast forward to her birthday just last week. I've been getting a couple things together for her when she told me not to get her anything for her birthday because we're broke as fuck. Again, she said she was serious and that she has everything she needs. I made sure she was serious and she said she was, so I did not get her anything. While celebrating her birthday, she didn't seem to mind that she didn't receive anything from me, but a few days later, here comes a fire. I just do not get it. I thought we were past speaking in code and we were more real than that. My father even said that I'm the asshole that no matter what a girl says, I still have to get her something. I did make her an amazing chocolate cake. So am I the asshole for not getting my wife gifts for Valentine's Day and her birthday, even though I was told not to? Oh my God. That is aggravating. That is so aggravating. One of the most frustrating things in the world is when people just won't say what they mean. It's okay to want a gift. It's okay to want something. You don't need to be all like, oh, don't get me anything. Don't get me anything. Especially when the husband went the extra lengths to make sure that she was serious and was like like be serious this time you don't want anything you don't want anything great i don't get the point of like what's the point is it supposed to be like a test are you like testing your husband or boyfriend to see if he'll pass the test and get you something anyway because that's stupid if you insist on something you should stick by that and then you shouldn't turn around blame him for not being able to read your mind and know that you actually want something. I also think the father is stupid for saying, oh, well, even if she says she doesn't want anything, you should still... Okay, well, why is that so? Why should we just follow, like, mixed signals? Why should we constantly hear, no, don't give me anything, I'm serious, don't give me anything, I'm serious, but then still be expected to get something? Like, why should we just have to go under that you know, I don't, I don't understand social things like this. He said he made her an amazing chocolate cake. That's still something. I still think giving someone food is something like you made her a cake for her birthday, I'm assuming. That's a nice thing to do. That's not nothing. This lady just sounds like a handful. If she says nothing and, it, and insists that she's serious about nothing, I would still follow through with getting her nothing. I don't care what your father says. I don't care what anyone says. If someone's that insistent and claims that they're serious, I don't think you're obligated to get them something. So what I said. Imagine he did go through and get her something anyways, and then she's like, I told you not to get me anything. Like, you're wasting money. I could see that happening too. In some situations, there's really no winning, and you just have to hope that you're not taking the bigger loss. And if she said she wanted nothing, good. Then you're not the asshole. This one says, am I the asshole for laughing when my son came out? My son has had a boyfriend for a year and a half now and it's always been pretty obvious. 
He had always been touching our son, not inappropriately or anything. The boyfriend would sometimes greet our son with, Hi, handsome, and they'd spend significant amounts of money for 16-year-olds on presents. My son baked treats for him. They hung out all day and came home with bags full of stuff on Valentine's Day. They kept accidentally falling asleep in the bed together and just treated him way nicer than his other friends. Our son sat us down saying he had something important to tell us. This kid doesn't take anything serious, so we got worried thinking it was something bad. He just came out as gay. I started laughing and said, duh, and my husband chuckled and went back to scrolling to his phone. We thought he was joking as he obviously was already out. My son got upset about our reactions. Am I the asshole? I hate this so much. I don't care if the closet is glass. If somebody comes out to you, that's a conversation that you need to take seriously. Oh my God. God. You never go and treat someone like that, especially when they said that he's never serious about anything and he's being serious. I think when you do that, you're essentially just telling that person that they weren't doing a good enough job hiding it. Because we live in a society where a lot of people do still have to hide that stuff. And you don't know if people are going to be supportive or not. Or he's 16 years old. He could have still been trying to figure it out for himself and figure out what those feelings meant. He might not have put two and two together at first that, oh, I like him like that. Um, and he might have just recently come to the discovery that he was in fact gay, which is why he was talking about it then. Just saying that you knew or laughing about it, laughing about it, is absolutely insane to me. Also, just pointing it out there, some guys that I've met, some like straight, cisgender, straight guys, have acted like super friendly with their male friends just for f for fun like I don't think that necessarily proves that they're gay or proves anything and even if it did even if you thought it was obvious is it really that hard for you to just not laugh and say okay son we still support you you're the asshole my um wife gave me a gift bag this morning told me my gift for Valentine's Day was inside. I was excited because I love that she'd do something like that for me, so no matter what was inside, I'd be happy. The first thing inside was a new water bottle. Cool. Love it. The second thing was a resealable bag containing a Cuts brand t-shirt. I tried the shirt on and I liked the fit around my shoulders and back. My wife loved the color and said it looked good on me. I agreed knowing that the length was just a tad short. I'm six feet tall, 178 pounds, so size large can be hit or miss. But ultimately, ultimately I agreed the shirt looked great. My wife then said the shirt cost $75 and I was shocked. I'm known for being frugal when it comes to fashion. If I ever buy myself clothes, it's off the discount rack. I like to look nice, I just don't want to pay for it. After she said the price, I said, wow, that's a lot for the t-shirt. I don't know if I'm cool like that. Like I could get six shirts for that price. I then asked if she had a gift receipt so I could return the shirt. Not the nicest thing in the world to say, I admit, but she then got very angry that I'm choosing to return the gift. And out of that, this is similar to when she returned a cardigan I bought her for Christmas to which she refused as a comparison because she explicitly tells me what to buy her and the cardigan was not something she'd asked for. Call me out here guys, am I being cheap and unappreciative for not wanting a $75 t-shirt? Should I have just not gotten hung up on the price and enjoy the shirt for what it is? You're the asshole. Of course. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on your personal clothes, that's fine. I'm known to, you know, thrift shop go to the clearance section as well because things are expensive and I don't want to waste all my money on a lot of clothes but if somebody else picks you this nice gift and is willing and wanting to spend that much on you it is kind of rude to say oh I could buy so much more with that or I could buy six shirts with that price and just want to return it it's not like he even had issues with the shirt like he liked it everything was good he just heard the price and was like mm, no 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 like it's not your money sir if someone is willing to buy you something nice, take it. You don't need to be that frugal that you won't let other people spend their money on you once in a while. And obviously she seemed excited and happy to be gifting that to you. She's like, oh, it looks weird on you. Then obviously she's okay with spending that kind of money and you shouldn't have returned it. I do think you're being cheap. I do think you should have just gotten over the price and worn the nice shirt, being kind of a dick bitch. I do think that there are some issues in the relationship, like, <laughs> why is she explicitly telling him what to buy and like then returning it when it's something else? I want to know the tea behind the cardigan. Did she actually like the cardigan? It was just like, oh, but it wasn't on the list, so I'm returning it. 
or was it just like an ugly cardigan that he didn't know how to pick out and he just tried to get it and it didn't work out. I just kind of wanted to know the tea behind the cardigan. I know that's not even what this what this was about. Um, I know it's not necessarily wrong, but I still feel like it's kind of rude to, <laughs> to, to just go return it like that too. Um, I don't know, it sounds like you're both really picky and like your own thing. <sighs> Stop returning gifts. Um, stop buying each other gifts if you're gonna be like that. Just give each other some cash. I don't know what to tell y'all But judging on your scenario you're the asshole. This one says am I the asshole for letting my son give his nanny a Valentine's gift? My husband and I have been separated for three years even though we're not divorced yet I'll still refer to him as my ex for the sake of this post When our son who's six visits his dad, he's mostly looked after by his nanny When my son was younger and I was explaining him what Valentine's Day was I told him it was a holiday to celebrate the people who you love and appreciate I didn't specify that it was supposed to be romantic though. He typically wants to give his dad night presents on that day, which is sweet of him and we both appreciate it. Well, this year my son wanted to give his nanny a present too, so he made her a card and I got her a box of chocolates for him to give to her. He was staying with his dad the weekend of Valentine's Day, so naturally his nanny was also there and he took the presents to give her. When my ex dropped him off on Monday, he flipped out at me and told me it was inappropriate for him to be giving her chocolate or a card on Valentine's Day. His parents were there at the time too, and they've also chimed in about how inappropriate it was. When I asked my son about it, he said his nanny said thank you, and then they played together. Honestly, I wasn't really thinking about the fact that it's supposed to be a romantic holiday, but now I feel like I might have been in the wrong and caused problems for no reason. Am I the asshole? What the actual fuck? No. I'm sure my nanny greatly appreciated just getting a gift. As long as the nanny didn't think it was weird, it's fine. And also, well, Valentine's Day be a romantic holiday i don't think it's wrong to teach people that it's just a day to show love and appreciation to people romantically or platonically i don't think that's a bad thing at all you know every year my grandma still wants to give all her grandkids chocolate and stuff because she loves us i'm not gonna say no if i'm being completely honest valentine's day is one holiday that i actually kind of enjoy are there things I don't like about it? Yes, but every year around Valentine's Day, I get together with my friends. Usually we have like a little pow Valentine's Day celebration and it's super fun. I love it. I always have a good time with it. Um, and I've had a really, I've been in a relationship for very few Valentine's Days, but I, I mean, I don't feel terrible because I just have like my thing with my friends like but love comes in many forms and I don't think it's wrong to show that on Valentine's Day absolutely not like if little seven-year-olds can give their teachers and their classmates little Valentine's Day cards and candy then surely he can give one to his nanny who he appreciates I don't think it's that deep you're the asshole though or no you're not the asshole the the family is the asshole Okay, and the last one, am I the asshole for not wishing happy Valentine's Day back? We're six guys, all boys group, and three of them are single, including me. One of our committed friends wished us a happy Valentine's Day. I don't think he had any evil thought of teasing singles of the group though, but even then I refuse to say same to you back to him because it's not happy for me, and wishing back same to you doesn't seem to be a good reply. I don't want this day for him to be as happy as it is for me. I'm not happy. And no, I'm genuinely happy for my committed friends for their relationships. I'm not jealous or anything. It's just that I don't want to wish happy Valentine's Day because it's not happy for me. So am I the asshole here? Oh my god, you're a petty fucking asshole. And a little bitch if I ever did hear of one myself. You can't even be bothered to say, oh yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Just because you're not happy. Sweetheart, get over yourself. Text it back and enjoy your misery. I don't know what to tell you. Do you think I think every morning is a good morning? Of course not. But if someone says good morning to me, nine out of 10 times, I'm still gonna say good morning back. I'm not gonna say, well, I don't wanna say anything because it's not good. I think you are a little jealous and you're just projecting that onto your friends. Like, we don't always have to be honest in life. If you're not happy, just say it back, bro. But that is going to be all for this installment of Am I the Asshole? People suck, I'll tell you that much. Um, 
what did we learn from this video um say what you mean if you say you don't want something actually don't want it or just be honest with yourself um don't rain on everybody else's prey just because you're miserable doesn't mean that everybody else has to be and it's okay to and love doesn't have to be romantic and you can show appreciation for people without it being weird and people just need to stop being petty little bitches and get over themselves um with that being said happy valentine's day everybody i'll see you in my next video peace out